Game Over 86. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Beautiful Monday, December 3rd, and I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Obviously, I had a great weekend. Today, I'm going to be talking about some personal stuff um, about my channel, about, you know, who really is Game Over 86? What I want to do to the future, uh, what do I want to do, you know, for the future of my channel? What I want to bring differently to my channel? And I want to know what you guys think. If you guys have some ideas on what you guys maybe want me to do um, for my channel, for you guys, um, leave them down in the comments on that. At the end of the video, let me know uh, what I could do differently or what kind of new things do you want me to bring. But let me explain like how I started, um, even though it was earlier this January, um, and why I started and what I want to bring for the future. Um, and kind of tell you just a little bit about personal in my life and why I am um, not biased and I'm, you know, truthful and honest and where I built my morals. I want you guys to kind of get that because I haven't really got to explain why I am the way I am. And I think this video is really, really going to help um, a lot of people understand that and see that. And, and hopefully you guys will appreciate that. Um, if not, you know, there's people out there that are always going to have their thoughts and opinions and that's fine. But I'm going to give you guys 100% the truth like I always do, but I'm going to go more in a personal side of it. Okay, a lot of people um, know me as Game Over 86. My real name's Jake. Okay, Jake, and um, I, I have three girls and a wife. Um, I've been, um, you know, hard worker all my life. I've been raised by military parents. I got brought up in a military base, uh, military style, um, and they 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 preach themselves on a lot of core uh, respect. I've always said yes, ma'am, yes, sir. I've always uh, was taught to do good deeds, to treat people with respect, um, to go above and beyond to help somebody out in need. That's one thing that I hold dear um, to my heart, and I and I try to spread that at the end of my channel where I say do a good deed, stay safe, take care of one another. I I really do. That's how I live my life. I really try to go above and beyond to help. Um, whether it be family, friends, or just people that you just meet that just may need uplifting in hand. Um, and and I was raised on a military base in Fort Hood, Texas, and um, back in the 80s. And a lot of people don't realize, um, you know, I got brought up in a pretty strict environment. And uh, my parents were great. They they I have nothing bad to say against them. They were awesome. Um, my stepdad and my mom um, took care of us. Uh, my stepdad came into our life when I was, th I think I was three or four. I may be wrong on that. But my real dad, um, you know, he did a lot of drugs. He abused my mom physically and mentally. And um, I, me and my brother, uh, you know, my brother was born in Hawaii and they flew down to Texas, an army base there. And that's where I was born. And he left my mom um, to go to Germany. And he, he was cheating on my mom when she was pregnant with me, matter of fact. And when I was born, he wasn't there for me. Um, I never got a birthday card. I've never actually seen my dad in person. I talked to him when I was 14 years old. And that was back in, I think, 2000 and, uh, or 1999, I think it was, or 98, something like that. 2000, it could have been. I can't remember. And, um, you know, he left us. He left me and my, uh, my mom, my brother, with a 1972 Nova. Um, he, he, uh, Man, this is uh this ain't really hard for me to say. I'm just wanting to say it in the right way without um getting too uh emotional. Um but he he left my mom with nothing. He sold her class ring in high school, he sold all her Elvis and Beatle albums, he sold all the furniture, he left us with nothing. And uh my mom, you know, was a hard worker and she drove us up from uh Texas all the way up and uh, a couple states in uh uh, Oklahoma and then Kansas and then so on and so forth. And we moved around at different places. And, um, a lot of people, um, you know, that don't know me or that even my friends know me, they, they don't even realize that my stepdad is my stepdad. They think it's my real dad. And, um, you know, my mom, like I said, this is going to go into detail. And I hope, like I said, I hope you guys, um, appreciate it because I normally don't open up like this. Um, but this is the reason why I am so honest and truthful. Um, and my mom breastfeed me. Um, every like two hours, she would stop and she would breastfeed us. And one time I remember um, breastfeed me. Um, I remember, um, you know, I was just a little kid. I, I rem and I'm jumping because my ADD, so bear with me. 
Um, and I hope my mom don't get mad because she watches a lot of my videos, but I know she, I know she appreciates my passion and my love. But when I was, I think four or three and my brother would have been five or six, my mom got raped. My mom got raped. Um, and, um, if I remember the story correctly, we were in the car and we couldn't do anything about it. And, um, uh, yeah, I seen that. And mentally and physically, uh, I don't remember it all too well, but I do remember some of the uh, visuals, if I'm correcting and I'm right. Um, I could be um, a little wrong on some of that, uh, where it took place. But um, it was hard. It was hard because we were young. Um, uh, it was passionate. Um, the way my mom brought us up were truthful and honest, man. Uh, they wanted us to bring us up the right way to treat people right. Um, my dad, like I said, my real dad left us and we got up and I lived with my grandma for a little while while my mom was still serving. And believe it or not, she was a tank mechanic and, uh, she taught me good things. Um, they, they taught me how to, how to treat women, how to treat, uh, human beings. And I, I love them for that. Um, and then my stepdad came into our lives and took care of us. And he didn't have to, and he wanted to. And he, and I thank him every day for that as well. And um, he was hard on us, but he was fair. He always showed us compassion and love, but he also showed us discipline when we needed it. He um, he took us under his wing. Um, and I remember a long time ago, Craig, uh, my brother, and uh, I, we went up to my mom because she used to fill out Christmas cards for my, my real dad. And leave his name. And so we would think it was from him. And she got tired of covering for him. And uh, obviously he didn't pay child support or whatnot. When you leave the state or country. I mean they have to find you and catch you. So he, he owed a lot of money in child support. And uh, you know my dad helped out my mom. And uh, and I remember us asking mom if we could call him dad. And she said yeah that was that would be fine. Go ask him. So that's when we started just calling him dad. So he's always been dad to us. And that's just the first part of my life. Um, and, and man, it was, it was amazing. It was, it was awesome to be loved. It was awesome to be wanted, I guess I should say, because um, I've always had this uh, thought in my, my mind that like um, nobody wanted me. And I'm not saying that as selfish. I'm not saying that in a way that like, you know, to get emotional. I'm just saying I felt like I, I, wasn't, I wasn't worth anything. And I know deep down inside I am. And I know that, uh, you know, with my ADD and uh, my depression and my bipolar disease that I think I have. I mean, everybody keeps telling me, man, you're bipolar, man. You snap. I've always showed love. I've always shown honesty and dignity and truth. And I've always wanted to be looked at in that way um, that where somebody could say, you know, at least he was honest. He wouldn't bullshit you. And I wouldn't. And I always take pride in that. And I always thought to myself how would I want other people to receive me or take me as? Do I want them to know me as a propaganda channel? Do I want people to know me as somebody that's going to lie or play favorites or fanboyism to a console? Or is he just going to be an asshole when you really meet him in real life? And I didn't want people to think that of me. So I'm never, I'm ne even before YouTube, I was never that way. I always treated people right. I always hung out with anybody. Everybody got along with me from far as I can remember. Um, you know, I got along with all the cool kids, all the all the nerds, all the band nerds, everybody, man. The arts, and the, the nerds, the dorks, the, the geeks, everybody, man. Everybody was equal to me. I never looked at them as uh, under me. I never have. I've always been outgoing, people person. Um, I can read people really well. Um, that's a gift that I believe I have. Um, I can tell if somebody's being loyal and honest just because of my core values of what I'm taught. And I took that and I progressed. And wrestling and video games and music was outlets. And I, I, I hold a lot of that in passion to me. Um, I know you guys can't see it in the video, but I do have a drum set in my garage. And I've been playing for 20 some years. 22, well, 20, oh, yeah, about 22, 23 years. Could be off a couple of years, but, and, uh, I was very good and I spent a lot of time critiquing myself and, and being hard on myself about being good and, and, and taking pride in what I do. 
and I was very uh, attached to pro wrestling um, because there was a character, there was an outlet. You could be yourself. You could be your own person um, and you could change, you know, and people would love you or hate you. And I always thought that was unique how you could literally tell a story um, by being your, by, by doing certain things and, and getting the attention. And, um, and I took that as awesome, man. That was one of my passions and my loves. I always wanted to be was a pro wrestler. Um, I looked up, you know, back in the late eighties and early nineties, man, them guys were iconic to me. And I always wanted to be that because I love to entertain people. I always love to be that goofball, um, you know, class clown, whatever you want to call me. I loved entertaining people. I love bringing a, putting a smile on people's faces. And I seen YouTube. And like I said, I'm going to bring this full circle with video games. Uh, it was an outlet, like I said, for all my, for all my problems that I had. And I know we all have problems, but, um, I seen YouTube as an opening, as an outlet to where I could maybe reach other people. Maybe I could reach out to other people in this world. Um, but that are maybe going through some problems and, uh, you know, they can look at me and say, you know what? This guy's helped me out. This guy's been through a lot. This guy, you know, there are, you know, there are uh, sunnier days on the other side of that hill. And I'm here to tell you, man, um, just, you know, if you guys have ever went through that problem with me, you know, your dad leaving you and not even knowing your dad and, you know, mom getting raped and, and going through living off government assistance where we were younger and, and, um, you know, just living in a trailer from trailer to trailer to trailer to finally, you know, my mom working two, two jobs to go to night school, to be, to be a nurse and, and me and Craig and, and my, my younger sister at the time, you know, my dad stepped in and or my stepdad, which is my dad stepped in and helped me out. A lot of people don't understand, uh, you know, what, what I was going through as a, as a child, as a teenager, as a young adult. And I take them core values. And like I said, I put drums and I put wrestling and I put video games all in my background because it reminds me of stay true. To stay true to yourself, loyal to yourself, speak honestly. Honesty goes a long way. And a YouTube channel to me, man, will flounder when you start to lie and people see that and people start to see not the real person. And I, and I literally have never opened up like this to a lot of people. But you know what? I felt like I needed to. I felt like I needed to open up to a lot of people that don't know me personally. And I hope that this did help a little bit. But the reason why I fully went YouTube is that reason is because I all the negative things, all the good things and all the you know in between. I wanted to bring that and share with people. But I also wanted to be honest. So when I say I'm not biased, um, I'm an unbiased channel. I am 100 percent honest. I don't want you guys to ever think that I'm going to stand up for a company. If I sound like I'm hating on somebody, I'm not. I'm here for the gamer and the consumer. I'm here for the people that watch my channel. I'm here for the support. I'm here to help other people out. And and I love talking about video games. And if and if we ever have a podcast, which I'm going to get into in the future, um, what I want to talk about in the future, I see my channel. I want to do vlogs. I want to do some game hunts, game finds, uh, you know, whether it be garage sales. I want you know, my brother to be with me on my channel every now and then so we can, you know, enjoy finding Ninja Turtles like we used to back in the day. Or we'd be fighting over, you know, who gets to play the Sega Genesis first and, um, or, you know, Stretch Armstrong. He froze my Stretch Armstrong <laughs> doll when I, in the freezer and it sucked because it broke into a bunch of pieces and I was so mad and, and the days when he used to pick up me, I throw micro machine cars at him and just stupid shit we'd do. And, uh, you know, I, I want to bring them days on video and I want to share my, my life and my passion and my love with everybody that enjoys that type of stuff. And I hope it brings enjoyment to you, but to get off away from that part, the, that that's a lot of the reason why I made this channel. The other reason why I made this channel besides reaching a bunch of people and sharing not only my passion and my love of video games and other stuff to go along is I want to open up my channel, not only to smaller YouTubers, but to bigger YouTubers as well. If they ever want to do a podcast or if they ever want to talk to me um, or we can do a podcast on their channel or my channel. It don't really matter. Um, just email me. You know, I have that up here. Um, you guys can email me there. If anybody has questions and all that, I want to go on. I want to do vlogs. I want to do game hunts, game finds. I want to do game reviews. I want to do unboxing videos. I even want to throw in some drumming videos. Um, it, it, to be honest with you, I have drum mics. I just, in the garage, it's not really sounded right. So when I get my bigger house and I get my drums set up the way, I'm going to bring that. Um, I also going to have some t-shirt designs that I've been working on and, um, 
I don't want to tell you guys what they are just for the simple fact is I don't want to release any of that information and then have somebody else take the idea, make it into a shirt. Um, not that I'm fearful of that. It's just I would rather be the surprise, be exciting. Um, so I don't even want to give you guys any hints about it. Just note that it's going to be spectacular and awesome. And you guys, um, I hope to God you guys enjoy the uh, or like the T-shirt designs when I do unveil them. And it'll be next year sometime, um, probably in March or April, whenever I get some extra cash and I can put towards to finishing that, um, getting the T-shirts done. But these these ideas have all came from my head, um, and I'm mixing them around to where it fits my personality. The other thing I want to talk about is um, – in the future of my channel is growing with other people. I like to do collabs with other people. Um, I don't want people to be afraid and I don't mean this in a bad way, but I don't want people to be afraid of my channel or me because I'm so honest or truthful. Or you feel like I'm just going to be cussing or, or going down. I want you guys to be as open as I am. I want you guys to feel the same passion that I feel. Even if you don't feel the same way opinion wise that I do, I don't want you to think that uh, I'm hating against anybody or I'm dishonest because I'm not. I'm just, that's how I was raised. I was raised to be this type of person. And I want to share that for the future and years to come. I want to grow with everybody on YouTube. I want to look at this, you know, two, three, four years from now and be like, wow, we have reached over you know, millions of people and millions of people have commented. I've helped maybe change lives. Um, parents, maybe they've been struggling with their kids, you know, lives or even in their own lives, uh, whether it be ADD that I struggled with or ADHD that I struggled with at a young age or bipolar that I've struggled with or depression that we struggle with. I want to help through video games and through passion and love. And I think that's a way that we can bring the gaming community together. Um, we can bring the gaming uh, video game you know, platform up higher, um, in a positive way rather than in a negative way. You know, that a lot of people will say video games cause this or do that or cause this. I'm always about positivity when it comes to most video games, but when there's critiquing or something that I need to say, I'm going to say it, whether it pisses people off or not. And I hope people are ready. I hope they're ready for game over 86. I'm ready to bring it. I'm ready to uh, do better than what I'm doing now, even though I think my what I'm doing now is pretty damn good. I need to uh, get a bigger house, get better equipment, camera, lighting, um, and I need to uh, excel and, and even push harder and, and strive for better and to bring more content to you guys, um, whether it be personal content, whether it be something that you guys have been struggling with, we could talk about it, um, and other stuff going forward, whether it be video games, us gaming together. I'd love for you guys to add me as a friend. I will release that... Um, Eventually, I have to set up some other stuff in there, but um, so that we could game on sessions throughout the uh, month. You know, there'll be a one time where I'll stream possibly and bring some uh, streaming with you guys and to just chit chat with my audience that 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 has been with me and that continues to uh, support me um, and and everything else. So I hope that you guys like this video. I hope that you guys appreciate my passion. I hope uh, you appreciate my honesty. And my loyalty and my dignity, man, because I take that um, very, very personally. And um, I never want to set anybody into the wrong path and lead them down a wrong road and lie and, um, you know, pretty much corrupt people. And that is one big reason why I made my YouTube channel is because I felt like this channel needed to be made. And it needed to be shown out there to help change people that may be going through the same problems that I went through or maybe they're getting tired of the same uh, wish-washy channels. So anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think of this video. I appreciate you. I love you very much. I will see you guys on the next video. And if this is the first time seeing me and hearing about me, check out my other videos, guys. I have a whole list of videos, uh, games, library stuff that you guys reviews, video game play, stuff like that. If you guys want to watch, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, share this video, leave me a comment down below. If this video helped you out, maybe get you a cheery. I, I don't try to bring anything down. This is a good video, man. It helped me out. It makes me feel good that I could get this off my chest to the people that are watching me. Now you know me just a little bit more personally, and maybe I'll meet you guys at a gaming convention in an upcoming year or months, and maybe I'll be able to do collab videos with other YouTubers that enjoy me as well or like to just goof off and have some fun. Anyway, like I said, guys, Hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 o'clock in the morning central time in the States. And I just want to let you guys know, thank you. I love you. Take care. Do a good deed. If you know somebody that needs something out there, guys, in life, you know, uplift them. Cheer them up. Always, always, always share the love. I'll see you guys on the next video.
Peace.